Hey guys, welcome to uh, another video here. Today we're going to be doing a review on these, the Wasser PPQ uh, Airsoft. Uh, it has the, um, it's kind of, it's very cool Airsoft. I got it at um, Academy Sports um, for 30 bucks. Uh, it is a spring powered uh, Airsoft. Uh, has the, comes with a suppressor for it. Unfortunately, it does not have suppressor high iron sights, so it's kind of, it makes the accuracy a little bit better. And it has the, comes with two magazines, slips in like that, and cock it, like that. I can shoot. Boom. Comes with a second mag so that you can, like let's say you run out of ammunition, like that. That man. Very cool. Um, I have had this for not an insanely long time, but um, like let's say you're not cocked yet. It's not cocked yet. There's a little red dot right there. So if we cock it, like that, and it shows that up. That obviously has the orange tip, orange muzzle. That goes up. You can see down in there. Down in there. Looks like that. It's very cool. But, um, yeah. It's very nice. It's very comfortable. If you're smaller and you have small hands like me, this is like perfect size. Insanely well. That's fire. Iron sights are amazing. I'd rather actually have the suppressor on it because it's a little bit more accurate. You saw that YouTube short that we uploaded. Um, it you could see like from the front view of the target, it is insanely more accurate when it has the suppressor on it. But like the grip there, it has like a nice grip. This here, you push that down, releases the mag. And what you do is you push that down, shake it, you shake it. And it has a little hole that it lets it into. Like that. I go like that, like that. So, you can pretty much just shoot for a while. And you run out of ammo, and it locks it back like that can't pull it back. Okay, so we leave that there. Shoot. Now obviously that sounds like dry fire. So, yeah. Comes with two mags. I do not, it does not come with a holster, unfortunately. But I'm going to be getting a holster soon at Sportsman's um, for 15 bucks. That fits perfectly like that. Um, eventually I will get some more info about it. Stuff like that. Now we'll be sharing it with you guys, but for now, we're in just kind of like that right now. Um, if you saw that YouTube short that we uploaded, this thing is 350 feet per second. May not look like it, but it's 350 feet per second, and it is a spring, spring powered. Obviously, it isn't the coolest because it isn't like green gas or CO2, and it's a blow black side slide. You can shoot it with one hand. It uh, it isn't like that. But it is, it is pretty cool overall. It's fairly new. It were, it's very, very nice. Okay, it's amazing. Has a cool color, as you can see. It has a little thing right there down in the barrel that shows um, six millimeter. I don't know if you guys can see that, but um, yep. And it has a little thing down here. Push that down gets stuck like that shut forward like that i think i have might have like a bb or something like that stuck in there but other than that i should be wearing safety glasses right now but i'm not so i don't know why i'm not because my parents would much rather me do that like it is insane not super accurate without the suppressor 
And that's the main reason why I like having the suppressor on it. Because it makes it a lot more accurate. Just because it has a longer barrel to travel through. Yeah, each of these magazines, or 15 rounds, hold 85 in the back there. You just easily slide it in, like that, boom. A lot more accurate. Even though the iron is not suppressor high iron sights, you can still kind of tell and hit the target. It um, definitely has that nice safety trigger there too. It's a nice safety trigger. Have to pull that down and make it fire. It will not fire without you pulling that down. So, the safety is a little weird. You have to turn that little thing here. Right now it's on safety, and you gotta pinch it, turn it. Now it's on fire. It's kinda, it's kinda weird, but overall, it's nice. It feels like a real gun, because I've shot my dad's real gun, playing. Um, you may not hear, you may, I don't know if you guys can hear it or not. I am very much hitting the target without aiming that much. But. Yeah, it's, it's very, very, it's comfortable, it's a very comfortable gun, it's not insane it's not too heavy the suppressor definitely gives it a little bit more weight on to the front i can just tell by holding it, it gives it a little bit more weight to the front but overall it's really nice but yeah it's very nice i don't know if you can see it too great down in there see how it goes in goes in there magazines right down in there that pushes it in Keeps it loaded in there. But yeah, it's it's not insanely quiet because you got that shake in the back. Rather than that, it's very nice. This thing, can, this thing shoots very fast. I've been shot by it a couple times. It works. Unlike airsoft, airsoft hurts. Yeah, sometime we might, I don't know. We might have an airsoft video where we actually go to play airsoft. Um, but it's, it's very, very comfortable. It's nice, also PPQ. This is not, this is not a sponsored video. If it was, there would be a lot more to be talking about. But yeah, what's cool is it's, that it's an airsoft, you know. Even though airsofts are based off of real life, can like put a laser or flashlight down there if you wanted to. There's no red dot mount for it though, unfortunately, but you could put a flashlight down there. I have before, but I didn't own it. It would be my dad's, but I have mounted one on there and it looks insane and feels insane. And it like matches with it. But other than that, I feel like combat. So basically I'll say I don't even have a mag holder so I'm just gonna have it right down here. I run out of ammunition. Boom. Obviously I'm not the best reloader. So, who cares? I don't, you may. But, I'm like, it's very comfortable back here to pull it back. Cause you can just let it go cause it's spring. You could just go like that all day. But, yeah, PPQ, it's very nice. It's accuracy with the suppressor is a lot better. You can get the version without the suppressor because it came with the suppressor and like you came with the suppressor mount in it too. That's because, well, it came with the suppressor on it. But uh, yeah, other than that, it's, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Wather PPQ. It's amazing. Uh, yeah, you can mount a, you can mount a laser, a flashlight. It doesn't matter. And yeah, it's very comfortable. You should definitely try 
If you are an airsofter, good for you. I'm going to be an airsofter soon. But this is my very first airsoft, so I'm hoping not to break it. When I get my airsoft rifle, which I'm going to try to get sometime, I'll do a full review on that. But right now, we just got this pistol. No mat, no two mags for it. Came with two mags. Came with glow in the dark Phoebe's. And it came with this to fill up the mag. And then I just bought a bunch of 15,000 BBs for it. But yeah, it's it's very, very cool. Good accuracy. It's light weighted for one handing. Even though one hand shooting, you shoot it, you gotta pull back like that. Under the net is very nice. Just I've got my fingers pinched in there and it hurts a lot but yeah and, and the Wather has not sponsored the video big shout out to them they make some good for this being a cheap $30 airsoft I gotta say I've shot plenty of other airsofts believe me I've shot a lot of different airsofts with my friends and stuff like that my family my cousins um and yeah it's it operates really good. It comes to the side back down there, comes right down, opens it up. It's very easy to pull it back. Obviously brand new, right out of the box it was a little bit harder. But I've been shooting this thing a lot lately. And I even brought it to Ohio. We, we got back just yesterday. Um, this weekend, forget to tell you, don't forget to, um, don't I, hopefully I don't, for, I'm happy I don't get to forget you guys. Whatever. I don't know what I'm saying. Um, this weekend, um, we're going to be doing a collab with All Leverett. Um, Friday through Monday, next week, I'll uh, leave up in the video, I'll edit it. Um, uh, I don't know what date it is exactly, but, um, yeah. But yeah, other than that, it's pretty cool. Nice. Hold it right. Yeah, can't pull the trigger like this. Just pull it like this. I'm not gonna pull it because it's facing the wrong way, but yeah, I live in a smaller town. We live in a smaller town, excuse me. Um but other than that, yeah. Or it might you might guys might be seeing some more airsoft videos um, coming out on our channel sometime. But uh, yeah, other than that, other than that. did enjoy the review the water pbq um make sure to hit the thumbs up um new if you're a new viewer subscribe please subscribe you don't have to if you don't want to but um yeah anyway thanks for watching shout out to Wather for making the amazing airsofts that they do and um yeah Make sure to go check out All Everett, All Everett Fishing. He just uploaded a insane video of him rebuilding a pond from scratch. And that was very cool. I watched the whole thing and it was amazing. Absolutely amazing. It was clean, it was perfect. Definitely more into the big YouTuber editing and video itself. And uh, he's going to be doing part two hopefully soon. And yeah. He, uh, his main channel, he has 1.50 thousand subscribers. And yeah, he's been doing YouTube for about almost a year now. No, not quite, almost, but yeah. 
his fishing channel he uploaded that link in the description to go check out his fishing channel and his main channel uh, he does a lot of gaming and trick shots on his main channel his fishing channel he only does fishing on it and he has a trick shots channel where he only does trick shots and then we have the collab channel all everything carolina boys uh, make sure to go check that out um and yeah anyway thank you guys for watching <laughs>